Hey, my brotherhood, welcome to another uh, action figure review of the Marvel Legends cloak figure from the SPDR Build-A-Figure Wave. If you guys are excited, I hope you are. Head on down to that like button and hit that like button for me if you're new. Subscribe and make sure you hit that little bell so you never miss out on another video here on Mock Creations, YouTube, and Cosplay. Um, yeah, really excited for this figure. Uh, cloak and Dagger, the TV show, have been really good so far. I have not actually finished it. So I'm actually probably going to just restart the whole series and watch it all over again. But uh, this cloak figure looks pretty good. I do have a couple problems with it already, uh, seeing it out of the box. Um, and I will show those off when I uh, do a detailing of the, of the figure. But let's go ahead and get into a close-up look of the figure. Then we'll take a look at the accessories that come with the figure. And then we'll look at the articulation that we see on cloak. Okay, so I finally got the autofocus to work. I'm trying to get some better light in here so you guys can see, but it's not really working out quite that well. Uh, I will endeavor to do my best. But the face sculpt came out really good. I really like the half moon crescent shape we're seeing right there. Uh, I do like it. The, uh, the face came out great. The nose came out great. The lips are good. The eyes are good. Uh, the hair is great. I love this... Uh, brown uh blonde wash that we're seeing right here so it's not just a monotone you know blonde colored figure uh it looks really good um let's go ahead and get that moved out of the way the chest looks really good we have this uh strange cross thing i have not read a lot of cloak and dagger comics so i don't know what this sword thing here means but uh they did a good job of making sure it uh shows off some good clavage Stealing that from SPD, uh, not SPDR, from Shardimus Prime right there. Uh, I, uh, there is her belly button right there. Uh, so, yeah, I guess she's supposed to be somewhat of a uh, sexy character. I'm not, you know, it's not my thing, I guess, but, you know, whatever works for the guys. Uh, the arms came out good. The hands came out good. Let me get close up with those nails real quick. My camera just doesn't want to work for some reason right now. And wow, that light just reflects so badly off that. So, um, but the hands came out good. There's a little bit of silver paint right there, it looks like, on the hand right there, the wrist. So I don't know if that's supposed to be silver or white. Actually, I'm going to look at it off camera real quick. Yeah, it looks darker. It looks a little darker, so I'm not 100% sure. If that's silver or white, I'm my eyes are kind of blinded right now by the light. Oh, and before I forget, I'll go ahead and measure her out real quick. So let's go ahead and get her standing on her own two feet. I can't really get her to stand, and I'll show you guys why here in a minute without like splaying her legs out a little bit. And I maybe you can already see, I don't know. But uh to measure her out real quick, she does stand at oh my gosh, camera, what are you doing? camera what are you doing she does stand at just about six inches tall though my camera is being naughty today there we go so now that we finally got that focus she does stand at just under six inches tall but we looked at her arms we looked at her torso right real, real quick i'm going to get into her leg real quick and wow look at that gapage right there that is freaking awful it's just gone awful on this right leg here there's no reason for that that gapage is ridiculous i hate it it's also making it so i think her leg is a little longer one of her legs is longer than the other so it's just god awful i can't stand it but um again once we get once we get past the torso and everything her She's kind of boring. I mean, it's just white. It's literally just white, guys. I mean, where's the color here? I don't know. It's it's kind of boring. I don't really care for the figure. But we'll go ahead and look up at the back side of the character real quick. So there's the legs there. There's the symbol right there. Uh, dagger butt. Back of the head. But yeah, I just, uh, that gapage right there. I don't know if that came on everybody's figures or not, or if it's just a, a, prob a problem with mine. But, oh, dang it. Sorry about that. 
But yeah, big problem there. Not liking that. So, uh, I don't know, guys. This is going to be one of the figures that I'm probably not going to like as much as I should just because of those problems. But let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, accessories that came with Dagger, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the articulation. Okay, so we got two accessories that came with Dagger. We have the SPDR Build-A-Figure uh, torso body, the main part of the body real quick. Again, like always, we're not going to go into too much detail with this because why would we? We're going to do a whole video just on SPDR, so I'm going to go ahead and get that, get that out of the way. But we did also get these uh, little daggers that you clip onto her arm, like right here, so you can, you know, you could, like fold her arm across her chest and it looks like she's throwing them like that. Uh, or you can clip them on even up here further. Uh, well, that just bounced right off there, but um, it's not really clipping onto her, like, arm arm up here. It's just kind of one of bounces off, but... Um, yeah, it looks like it's just going to go to her wrist, but uh, again, these aren't horrible. Um, they're they're great. I like them. I kind of wish we would have gotten some uh, dagger holding hands and then some extra just daggers, because that would have been really cool. This doesn't really scream dagger to me, you know. This this, you know what I mean? Like when when I think of dagger, I think of her holding, you know, daggers in her hands, but. This doesn't really scream that to me. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. I have a little bit of extra plastic right there. But I would have liked some uh, some uh, alternative hands and uh, some just daggers like she can hold, like she's stabbing or, you know, getting ready to thrust. That would have been really cool. But let's go ahead and get into the articulation, and then we'll take a look at her and the other characters in the way. And here's Dagger using her accessory to throw her daggers out, looking pretty cool. This was a nightmare to get standing straight up just because of that knee. That knee. Oh, not that knee. The thigh. The goat. The gab. The gap. It's horrible. Oh, I hate it so much. But I finally got it to stand on its own, and it looks pretty good. I just cannot stand that knee. It's killing me. I keep saying knee because I want to think of bum knee Spider-Man, but I'm talking about the thigh. But there she is using her daggers, looking pretty good. All right, so for our cloak figure, our uh, dagger, I keep wanting to say cloak. I don't know why, but <laughs> for our dagger figure, we can't really get her head moving up that much just because of all the hair. It's understandable. I don't, I don't fault them for that. We can move the head down quite a ways, though, so she can look down. Uh, there is some side-to-side -side motion and a little tiny bit of head pivoting. Uh, you can move her arm almost all the way, you know, completely perpendicular out, maybe even a little bit more. Uh, far down to her body, but not touching. It will rotate. Uh, single jointed elbows, though, which is, you know, standard on, for some reason, on all Marvel Legends female characters. Unless it's like a, you know, a special character for some reason. It will rotate at the elbow. Her hands do hinge up, hinge down, all around. She does have a, uh, a diaphragm crunch forward and a diaphragm crunch back that goes back way further. And a diaphragm pivot. Uh, hips move out that far. I don't understand why the hips do not move out further than this on female figures. It boggles my mind, but, I mean, whatever. She can't kick forward that much and back a tiny bit. Upper thigh cut with that horrible, ooh, that horrible stuff. Um, double jointed knees that go in almost all the way. Uh, her ankles do move down. They do move up. And she does have ankle pivot, which is really tight for some reason. But it's there. And here she is with her uh, partner in crime. We have Cloak here. And I got to say, they actually look really good together. I like how dark... Because even though I have my lights on and everything, I love how dark Cloak looks and how bright uh, Dagger looks right now. Looking very good. I love it a lot. And here are all the other figures we've done in the wave so far. We have the all-new, all-different Daredevil, uh, Elektra, Cloak. Uh, we've already done Dagger, uh, Scarlet Spider, Kane Parker, and uh, the House of M, Bum Knee Spider-Man, which 
I was not going to try to get that thing to stand for the life of me after fighting with this dagger figure and that stupid gap. So, uh, yeah, that gap, that gap, that gap, right there, that gap. I was not fighting with it. But uh, here are all the figures so far on the way. We only have one more figure left, and that is the Doc Ock, and then we'll be doing the SPDR Build-A-Figure. I still need to go out and find Doc Ock, so uh, that'll be a little bit of time. So look forward to that. And here's our cloak figure doing the most dynamic pose I can get without her falling over because that gap, that gap, guys, that gap right there. Ugh, it's so awful. I know I keep pointing it out, but it's really taken the fun out of posing this figure out of me. So it's really been bothering me. But uh, watch me, like, tilt this up a little bit and it all falls over. Nope. It's not going to stay up. But uh, all in all, it's a good figure. Uh, it's a little boring aesthetically from the waist down just because it's all white and there's nothing breaking it up. But um, if that's true to the character, I understand it. Um, I just wish there was something to break up the, the monogamy of the white there. But I do look forward to posing this figure a lot with my cloak figure. I did love bringing cloak in with some of the shots I did even though he kind of just stood there. He doesn't really do much. But uh, all in all, it's still a good figure. The, the gap at the thigh really bothers me. Um, because of the gap at the thigh and the, uh, the uh, crap that we're seeing from the waist down, which it's not crap, it's just it's boring. I'm going to give this a rating of only four Dragon Balls. I know that seems low, but it's just kind of boring from the waist down. And that thigh just gave me so much issue, so many issues that I'm, I'm not willing to come up on that. If we would have had some fisted hands with some daggers, that would have been really cool. Uh, I can't really think of an alternate head sculpt I would have done, so that's fine. But uh, again, just kind of boring right here. I'm sorry if that upsets you, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' opinion. And... Uh, don't forget to check out the product shots at the end of the video. You can find more shots on my uh, Facebook page. Uh, and please head on over to my social media. You can find me on Facebook, so, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, Discord where we are doing a comic book reading club. So head on over. Find out what comics we're reading and uh, join the discussion. We'd love to have you guys there. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, head on down to that like button and hit that like button, please. If you're new... Please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the little bell so you never miss another Mock Creations YouTube and Cosplay content video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!